Hello, I'm Monica Reinagel, the Nutrition Diva, here with your quick and dirty tips for eating well and feeling fabulous. The future is coming. Make it brighter with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to turn your idea into a unique website. Showcase your work, blog, publish your content, even sell products and services of all kinds in just a few clicks. And you can customize everything from the look and the feel to the settings and products with beautiful templates created by world-class designers. And there's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your site, use the offer code DIVA to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. When we think about taking nutrients into our bodies, we're usually thinking about swallowing them in the form of pills or maybe powders or that radical format known as food. For that matter, when we talk about nutrient absorption, we're usually talking about the absorption of nutrients from the digestive system into the bloodstream. But a handful of companies are trying to change the way we think about nutritional supplementation. Instead of swallowing a handful of pills and worrying about whether or not they're being absorbed, why not bypass the digestive tract altogether and apply them directly to your skin? Nicotine, estrogen, testosterone, and certain pain medications can all be delivered through the skin through medicinal patches, gels, or creams. So why not vitamins and minerals? The U.S. military, for example, is working on a skin patch that could deliver essential nutrients and other compounds to soldiers during periods of high-intensity conflict when getting adequate nutrition from food might be challenging. The scientists who are working on this project don't expect to have anything ready even for field testing for another 10 years or so. But you don't have to wait for those fusty old scientists to dot every I and cross every T. There are companies who will take your money right now for patches, gels, and bath salts containing magnesium or vitamin D, CoQ10, and various other herbs and nutrients that claim to alleviate nutrient deficiencies, boost your energy, and, of course, help you lose weight. However, I'm skeptical that any of these substances are actually going to end up in your bloodstream. And you should be too. Before I explain why, let me thank our other sponsor. Beachbody On Demand is an online fitness streaming service that gives you unlimited access to a wide variety of highly effective world-class workouts personalized to meet your needs. It's the total package to help you become the total package this year. My own exercise routine always suffers in the wintertime when I can't get outside to walk and run. And Beachbody is helping me fill the gap with fun classes I can do at home. You'll find workouts that range from just 10 minutes to over an hour, and they're all completely accessible on any web-enabled device for less than a gym membership. Give it a try. Right now, my listeners can get a free trial membership by texting DIVA to 303030. You get full access to the entire platform for free, all the workouts and information. Just text DIVA to 303030. And now let's talk about why transdermal nutrition might be a little trickier than you think. You see, the skin is actually designed to be a fairly impenetrable barrier. And good thing, too. I mean, just imagine for just a moment if everything that touched your skin ended up in your bloodstream. We see lotions and cosmetic potions touting their vitamin-drenched formulas And while these nutrients may, or then again may not, have cosmetic effects on the surface of the skin, very little, if any, of those nutrients are penetrating beyond the skin's surprisingly tough outer layers. That's why we can slather our skin with mineral-based sunscreens all summer long without developing a zinc overload. Studies have shown that the topical application of zinc-containing sunscreens has minimal, if any, impact on the amount of zinc in your blood. For that matter, studies have also found that magnesium is not very effectively absorbed through the skin. That doesn't seem to hurt the sales of topical magnesium products, claiming to be a more effective way to absorb magnesium. Buyer beware. In order to be absorbed through your skin and into your bloodstream, A compound needs to have at least two things going for it. It needs to be lipophilic or fat-soluble, and it needs to be very, very small. 
a lot of the compounds found in commercially marketed transdermal patches are neither. Of course, there are ways to get around these limitations. You can break a large molecule down into nanoparticles or encase it in a substance that diffuses more easily into the lipid layer of the skin. You can use tiny little needles to poke tiny little holes in your skin, and that allows the substance to penetrate into the deeper tissues. Or you can use chemicals to alter the surface of the skin and make it more porous. You can even use electrical stimulation to open the pores, or a technique known as microdialysis. All of these are strategies that are currently in use or being developed by pharmaceutical companies and the military. However, you can be pretty sure that that $2 vitamin D patch doesn't include any of those fancy technologies. Perhaps that's why the product website includes the disclaimer, this product has not been tested for safety or efficacy. No, seriously, it actually says that. Similarly, I very much doubt that much, if any, of the green tea extract or Garcinia cambogia that's embedded in their weight loss patch is actually going to end up in your bloodstream. Then again, even if it did, it probably wouldn't result in noticeable weight loss. On the plus side, sellers of transdermal patches point out that they completely avoid the problem of nausea or stomach upset that pills can sometimes cause. They sure do. You could also avoid stomach upset by dissolving your supplements in water and then using that to water your plants, which, come to think of it, is a nutrition strategy which would be about as effective as an over-the-counter vitamin patch. Transdermal nutrition may indeed be the wave of the future, but I'm afraid the future is not yet here. You'll find a transcript of today's show on our website at nutritiondiva.quickanddirtytips.com, and you'll find me on the Nutrition Diva Facebook page. If you haven't checked it out yet, we are doing a regular Friday afternoon live nutrition Q&A. It's been tons of fun. I've really enjoyed seeing all of you in real time. Check the events on the Nutrition Diva Facebook page for the next scheduled Facebook Live, and I hope to see you there. Have a great week, and thanks for listening.